All right, what's up again, everybody? This is Terrence Warren, Cisco Tutor Guy, CCMP, and following on with my CCMP T Shoot Lab series. This is Lab Three. So uh, moving right along, we're going to get into this lab. All right, and the issue is client one is unable to reach the external web server 209.65.200.241. Very much similar to the first lab. Thus, you are requested to troubleshoot the cause of the problem and identify the following. All right, so following the ping plan that is on my website, we're going to go to client one, the PC, and issue a ping to the router close to the web server which will be R1 and the IP address is 10.1.1.1 now these IP addresses are on the uh, the uh, topology that can be downloaded from the Cisco website for the tissue so it would behoove you to learn and, and study that topology all right, so we're getting ping results from R1. So let's ping the interface that's pointed towards the web server. So before we can do that, let's go and see what it is. 225. All right, so the, the interface that we just pinged and got a response from was this uh, right here. So it was the the S the serial interface. So this here, this interface um, is the one that we're going to Oh crap. Accidentally. So it's the serial 001 interface now, and it's 225. So we're going to go back over to the PC, ping, and I forgot to see what exactly. The IP address was. So it'll be ping. And we're getting a response from there. So the next IP address, so we got a response all the way up to here to the cloud. So let's go ahead and try to ping to 226. Alright, so we're, I just initiated a ping to the 209.65.200.226 interface, which is just beyond the cloud. And it's taking a minute, so that tells me that it's going to time out. And just like I said, it is timing out. No, I was wrong. We're getting a reply back. It's just because this laptop is super slow. So if we hit that, did that ping again, let's see. We'll get, we got all four reply. We'll probably get all four replies this time. Three. And there's a fourth one, zero percent loss. All right. 
All right, so we're all the way here. So let's ping the 242, the dot 242 interface, which is the one going directly into the web server. Okay, and now we're getting the unreachable response from R1. So that means there's something on R1 that's not on that last router right next to the web server. So let's go into R1. Let's do a show run. And from R1 to this this next router is a BGP AS number six five. Over here is BGP AS six five zero zero one. So I'm thinking that we need to look at the BGP configured on this router. So I'm in R1 and I'm looking for the BGP configuration. I see BGP 65001. And I'm noticing that the neighbor is a neighbor of 209.56.200.226 remote AS65002. But yet the neighbor the network is 209.65.200.224 and the 65002 is over here so let's look at this router this ISP My bad. Run. And we're looking for the BGP. And here it is. And just like I said, we have a neighbor command of 209 209.65.200.225 and a network of 209.65.200.240. Now, let's go back over to R1, and we see there's a network address, a neighbor address of 209.56.200.226. So, the issue is the BGP neighbor commands aren't matching. So, what do we do? The fix is we have to take that neighbor come that statement out and put in a new one, the right one. All right, so router. Let me go back up a little bit. Router BGP six five zero zero one BGP six five zero zero one no neighbor two zero nine dot five six Let's go back up and see. Two 
226. So now that we've got the wrong statement out, let's put in the right statement. So we replace this with neighbor 209.65.200.226 AS. Six five two two. Now this corrective action, see, and you see the adjacent the adjacency just came up here. The BGP adjacency just came up here. So we should be able to ping the web server all the way through from client one now that we've made that correction. Let's try to print that last router that we didn't get a response from the, with the dot two four two first. And again, you have to be patient because my laptop is super slow. Just to save time, I'm going to pause it. All right, so I just initiated a ping to the web server. And we're getting responses, so now we can ping all the way through to the web server and just go all the way through the dot two four two IP address. Zero percent loss. So um, the issue in this ticket was also on R one the and let's just verify uh, what we found the faulty device was R1 the faulty technology will say was uh, it's uh, BGP and the corrective action was to remove the wrong neighbor command and add the right one again on the t-shirt exam you don't have to fix anything all you have to do is find it so let's verify our answers answer one R1 was the faulty device as I stated. Uh, the faulty technology was BGP routing. And three, the corrective action was to remove the wrong neighbor statement and add the right one, which was the 209.65.200.226. So again, that was uh, CCMP T Shoot Lab 3, and I'm going to continue to do all 16 or 13 series of labs to uh, just give a guideline and details on how to do the pain plan and troubleshooting the T Shoot tickets. Once again, thanks for watching. This is Terrence Warren, the Cisco 2 guy, CCMP. Don't forget to check out the website, cisco2theguy.com. As a matter of fact, we can go to that right now. Better yet, I'll save that for another time. All right, so thanks for watching.